Hey YouTubers, I finally got another PlayStation 3. And there's my little experiment. <coughs> A 3.5 inch hard drive. Okay, now 3.5 requires 12 volts. The PlayStation 3 is not able to power it. Okay, so I have an external hard drive power. Okay, as you can see, the light is on. This drive is turning. Turn on the PS3. Okay, I need to install the firmware because this PS3 doesn't know this hard drive. It tells you right there that it's already picked it up. Yep, oh, it's a turn. Take a look at this controller. Got it off my friend. I have no idea where he got it, but it's not branded as a Sony. But it looks like a PlayStation controller, PlayStation 3 controller. Oh, back to that. I got him search for the files. Checking. Please wait. This may take a little bit. Okay, getting back to that controller. It there's like really no no brand to it. It just says wireless controller. It's like a PlayStation 3 controller. But no, like no PlayStation symbol, no Sony or brand, but it does have the X circle triangle square buttons. Very much so like a PlayStation 3, but it's like just an off brand. It's weird. Controller, too, is it coming to color. It's weird. Okay, it's formatting the hard drive now. That's all I have is the data wire coming out of the system. Now this cable will come in handy if you have a thicker 2 point or yeah 2.5 hard drive that's thicker and it won't actually physically fit in there. Now see, this idea will come really handy if you have custom firmware, PlayStation 3, where you install your games on a hard drive. You can get a 3 terabyte hard drive from Western Digital. I know they have one. You can run this same setup. And you have 3 terabytes of storage.
One thing I like about the 160 gig, the eject and power buttons actually light up. I noticed the later slims do not. That looks like it's lit, the PlayStation symbol, but it's not. It's just really shiny. But luckily, I do have my original PlayStation 3 controller. I got this one with my last PlayStation 3. I got one, a controller at a yard sale for a dollar. And I had to fix it because as soon as I got it registered to my PS3, it had a mind of its own. I hate these freaking lights. They're garage, there's long fluorescent garage lights put in the house. Anyway, <clears throat> I fixed that controller and first it had a mind of its own. We'll go up and down, left and right, enter menus and all that stuff all by itself without touching any buttons. After fixing that, the controller worked fine. And when I sold the PS3, I let that controller go. And I kept my good one. Because I knew eventually I'd get another PS3. This is really going to take a while. I have no way of editing my videos. So you can guys just like skip on the timeline to fast forward through that in the video. Unless the format's already done now. Oh, that screen went. Okay. Must be done. I'm not going to have this pet term or this hard drive permanently, so I'm not worried about the time or the user. And there you have it. It's running off a three and a half inch hard drive. I'm not saying that's a terabyte drive. System settings. System information. 828 gigabytes of free space. Now my hard drive I had in it before, I can just swap it right back in there and as if I didn't even do this. <coughs> <coughs> huh. Thought it'd be over my cold by now. So there you have it.
so you might want to just well I find this a little bit of a bother because you have to turn that switch on for the power to power this hard drive or you, you could just leave it run but I don't know how it would affect the PS3 so I'll shut this off and I'll just give this a little tug that's it So that's my little experiment. If you're into electronics, computers, and stuff like that, take a look at my buddy's channel where I got this PlayStation 3 from. Uh, YouTube your username is Robert Echinoz. I will post a link in the video description below. So if you like his videos, please rate, comment, and subscribe. station.